hello and welcome back to my channel today i want us to briefly take a look at these mind-blowing new features inside nectar 4 by native instruments and the first we'll be starting with is auto level auto level for me is an advanced vocal writing plugin with unique features that provides a very consistent volume level without introducing any form of artifacts so let's use this audio for the demonstration now you can approach this in two ways you can just engage auto level and it will automatically set the level for you that you can still readjust or you can go through learning this helps to analyze the entire signal and set some parameters for you let's listen to the vocal without auto level then after i will engage auto level so that we can hear the difference i want to know what's going on in your mind my and let's engage auto level now i want to know what's going on in your mind my so if you paid very close attention to the area where i was hovering the mouse you will notice that this number right here keeps going plus something and negative something what that simply means is when it gets to the area that is quiet it will boost it that is where you're seeing the plus value and when it gets to the area that is too loud it will reduce it just to give a more even doubt output so for a more graphical illustration i'm going to bounce this audio so that you can see the difference between the two files so let me show you The above image is the consolidated one and below is the original. So as you can see, auto level is really controlling the levels of the vocal as to compared to the original one. The next thing you can do is to readjust it. Let's say it didn't really give you the level you want. You can go ahead to, you know, adjust this output to suit the level you want. Let's go to the other features in auto level. As you can see over here, they have tame noises. Tame noises is a feature inside auto level model that instructs auto level model to ignore any noise or anything that is not tonal like a spoken voice or a singing voice and some of the examples of these noises are breath sibilance clicks pops you know things like that the reason for this is if noises like that are allowed into the gain structure that auto level is trying to control or regulate that could boost or cut things dramatically and which will affect the gain structure performance of auto level so this feature tells auto level to avoid those noises while auto controlling and regulating the level of the vocal let me just demonstrate to you to show you the theme noises so we'll engage this ear icon here so that we can hear the noises this feature is telling auto level to avoid so let's have a listen So those are the noises or sounds that this feature is telling auto level to neglect while riding. Then the next is the range. This range determines how much it will reduce or increase the levels in the vocals. As you can see, it is at 6 dB at default. What it means is when it hits a vocal that is too loud, it's going to reduce it by 6 dB. And once it hits, a vocal that is too low it will increase it by 6 db but it is all up to you to decide the level you want to set it that will best suit the track you're working on the next is the strength this one right here determines how sensitive the auto level will react to the vocal it is riding 
Next is the side chain and below it is the range knob. And the last but not the least is the mix knob right here, which can be used to adjust the amount of level applied to the signal. That is all about auto level. The next feature we'll be looking at is a feature that is not new. It is both in the previous version 3 and also in this recent version 4. This is a feature in their EQ called follow mode. You know, I want to talk about it because of how amazing this feature is. And for those who doesn't know about it yet, so that they can get a chance to know about it. Now, this feature in Nectar EQ called follow mode gives you the ability to track and pin a certain frequency and control the dynamics so that even if it moves front or back, it will track it and follow it wherever it goes. By so doing, controlling that particular frequency on that vocal or any recorded sample. So let me just quickly show you how to engage it. When you call up an EQ, uh, let me just play the vocal and uh, do the demonstration from there. So let's say you called up this EQ and let's preview the vocal. I want to know. Now let's say we want to track that frequency there. And as you can see, I it's moving up and down. It's not steady. I want to know what's going. So all you need to do is to pick the point where that frequency is. Head down to this extension, open it up. And then you can now see that option called frequency all you need to do is just to engage it i want to know what's going on in your mind isn't that amazing it's made vocal control and mixing a whole lot easier now so that is all about this particular one the next feature we'll be looking at is backer this is another interesting new feature inside Nectar 4. Now, these two best suits in a situation where you're recording your track yourself and you, uh, you did your harmonies or your chorus backups, but you don't want the harmonies or the backups to sound just like you. This is where these two come in handy. With these two, you can now transform your voice to sound like any vocal sample of your choice let's say you have this special artist in mind all you need to do is to go get the acapella of that artist import it here and blend it using this blend knob as you can see here they already provided some default unique samples you can use to transform your voice and uh, you can also add in an external vocals by clicking on this plus button and selecting that particular voice you've downloaded or you saved so let's quickly go through the functions let's say i want to transform the lead voice into another voice let's choose this one and preview I want to know what's going on Sorry guys, my system is lagging. As you heard, though it's difficult for you to like really hear it clearly, but you see it transformed the vocals to something different. Let me try another one. You heard that right? Let's try this one. You see, different textures. And uh, for this one that was sounding so low, like a bass voice, can change that with this knob right here to change the target pitch if you increase it it comes back to the original octave if you take it down it gets deeper the more so you get the idea so let's say we want to use this one you can take it down to be deep or you can take it way up to be very high pitched so 
and uh, we have two other knobs this one is to change the the tone of the vocal now with this tone let's see what it adds to the vocals I want to... as you can hear i don't know if you can but it's brightening the voice if i take it to the right and if i take it to the left it's making it dark then the format let's see what that does all right it's for you know changing the formats of the vocal so that's pretty much about this try this out to have a better understanding of how it works pardon me that my computer is not giving us the opportunity to listen to it fully but this piece of tool is an absolute game changer because with this you can let's say you have an artist in your studio after recording the artist left maybe left the country and uh, you needed to make some corrections with this you can sync what you want to correct in that track and use this tool to sample the already recorded vocals of that artist and then blend everything together now that takes us to the next feature which is voice these two i'm not really gonna go deep into this with this you can create harmonies just with one lead voice all you need to do is to engage the right key find the key let's say the key is d choose the key and try to find the best register that will match the harmony more medium is usually good and uh, you come over here and choose already made presets they have so let's try the third just for a very brief demonstration so that you see i want to know you know forgive me that's not the key i just picked that key randomly that is simply how it works and there are lots of presets you can switch to it's best to have a first-hand experience with this try and get this plugin and do these experiments yourself now you can solo here to hear the harmony only the harmony you are adding i want to know what's going on in your mind my I think below here they have time and pitch and over here we can see filter i think this filter is to set the frequency range of the harmonies you can also create your own costume harmony over here they have auto mode and midi mode this midi mode is where you manually create your harmonies pitch correction adjusts pitch correction amount and speed of the harmonizing voices the reason i don't want to go deep into this is just because of my computer it will lag and that wouldn't be nice that is pretty much about the new features i want to share with you guys stay creative take care and see you guys in the next one bye for now